Hey everyone, it's Laura, welcome back. So today we're gonna take a quick break from the blanket that we're making and we're just gonna work on a scarf. I've got a lot of um, random skeins of, single skeins of yarn that I intended to be used for hats. But I'm kind of burnt out on hats, um, so we're gonna do scarves because what is easier than a scarf? So I started this one last night. I think I made it a little too wide. Not that a scarf can really be too wide, but I think I made it too wide so that I, the scarf may be a little short because I only have one skein of this. Um, I should have made it probably like an inch narrower. But that's okay. We're just going to go with it see how far we get. Um, if I need to add another yarn onto the end of it, I might see if I have a coordinating yarn. I might, you never know. Um, this is, I love this yarn, print in the print Be Still. I think it should have been named something like Spearmint or just kind of reminds me of mint and toothpaste. <laughs> so, um, Be Still is a very creative name. But um, this this yarn, this I Love This Yarn print is my favorite yarn to work with. And my favorite acrylic yarn. Oops. Hang on. We're pulling out the other side. softest acrylic yarn that I've found. And I'm just doing double crochet. I think I did like 20 across or something. I think I started with 22 across and then used the, the two on the end as a as a um, as the chain two. as the first double crochet. But I got a lot of these um, just random prints because I was, I was, last year and the year before, I made a lot of hats for people in need. Um, I don't know how many I made. It wasn't like a ton, a ton, but it was it was probably like 30, 30 plus hats. And then I made a bunch of scarves with leftover yarn. I made like miscellaneous colored scarves with leftover skeins of yarn. Um, and then I also um, bought for Black Friday, I think it was, for both both last year and there before, I bought fleece at Joann's and just, um, I don't know if it was blizzard fleece or whatever fleece was the cheapest and in solid, solid dark colors and made, um, scarves you know, long, wide scarves with a little fringe at the end and donated those as well. And I'm probably about 30 or so of those. Um, that was my, my good deed for the year. I just, I don't know. I feel, I, I feel like if I'm going to be crocheting that I should be doing something useful. Um, and this year I'm kind of crocheting more for myself but I still have all this yarn that I need to get through for scarves or hats. Um, so but I just didn't feel like making a hat. So we're making a scarf. So 
So how is everyone doing today? I hope you're doing well. It is pouring here today. I said we were having a storm coming this weekend. Well, here it is. I'm filming this on Saturday. And you'll probably see it on Saturday. I'm, I'm out of videos to upload, so. keep hearing, you know, the wind pushing it against the, the window and my poor cat is in here and like, mom, make it stop. <laughs> he doesn't like the rain. I don't blame him. He doesn't like the wind either. Now, if we still had our dog our dog would not go out to use the bathroom in the rain unless someone would hold an umbrella over her. She was quite the princess. And we obliged. I would go hold an umbrella for her. She didn't like the wind either. But I can hear my cat. He's still in the hallway. I just gave him some treats. He's gonna have to go to the bathroom eventually. He does not use a litter box. Not for my trying. Um, I've tried giving him a litter box, but he just, he's not interested. The world is his litter box. And, um, he knows it. He's just, he's not interested in having one in the house, so at least not at this point in his life. You know, maybe when he gets, you know, hopefully when he gets a little older. <clears throat> of course, I just hope I'll always have him, but you know, I know that's not how it works. So I, I just hope that he'll continue to age and eventually he'll just want a litter box in the house. So, and he'll tell me and you know, And he'll have one. But there's plenty of shelter places for him to go right now. In fact, there's one right outside my house. Maybe he doesn't mind the rain as much as I think he does. I just, he'll go outside at night when it's raining and he'll keep coming in and going outside and going and coming in and going outside and, and then I'll dry him off and he expects me to dry him off. <clears throat> He's got a good thing going. <clears throat> so maybe the rain doesn't bother him as much as I thought it does. Now that I think about it, he had to get a bath one time. So we don't bathe our cats. Um, cats are really good at bathing themselves. And one time he got hit by a skunk. Um, he happened to be there when my dog, my dog was constantly getting hit by skunks. She just couldn't help herself. And no matter where we lived, it wasn't a location thing. It was a her thing. And, um, I think he happened to be in the way and he got hit. And so he needed a bath and um, I wasn't part of that process. I was, I was watching the dog. Um, 
but I was told that he was very compliant and um, did not put up a fuss and was just a really good kitty. So maybe water doesn't bother him as much as I think it does. But yeah, he's about, I was trying to think about how old he was before I started this video because I was thinking about him out there and having to go out in the rain and wishing he'd use a litter box, but like he's Now he's using his scratching board. I don't know if you can hear that. I just put some shelf liner under the, some anti-skid shelf liner under the scratching board for him. It must be working. Um, he's like, 14, I want to say, I can't, I'm not very good with numbers, with, with ages, people or pets. I do have records for him, so I could go look it up, but, um, he's a distinguished old gentleman, and me he's just my handsome man you know he's he's my everything I spoil him rotten his his bedding is being washed right now and by his bedding I mean my bedding because <laughs> when I'm not on the bed he's on the bed This is coming along nicely. Probably about a third of the way through the skein. So this is gonna be, that'll be an okay length scarf. Might need to take off this sweatshirt though. it would be good to use up some of this excess yarn you know that isn't necessarily you know set aside for a specific project I do have some yarn that is set aside for a specific project it's the Karen Colorama oops well, that didn't work out it's the kind that like is a seamless gradient from a color to white. And I have a few of those and I was going to make um, a shawl out of them. And I thought about just doing like a simple double crochet or half double crochet, but I found this pattern for that yarn or for an iteration of that yarn. It came in a couple iterations and it's a really beautiful pattern with a beautiful stitch 
um, and it's crochet. And it's like, oh, I really would love to do that. But it's like, oh, it's complicated <laughs> for me. It's like <clears throat> anything more than just a basic stitch is complicated. So I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about just trying it out you know, off camera and just seeing if I can get the hang of it. Seeing if it's just too complicated for my brain. Some things are just too complicated for my, my brain and it, I can't work them out. I'm thinking about doing a video like 10 things or 5 things about me. I need to think about those things first. But um, just so we can get to know each other a little better. I did end up cleaning my kitchen yesterday, which is why I didn't make a video yesterday. I ended up, um, partially, I ended up cleaning my sink and wiping down all the countertops and pulling out everything, you know, on the countertops and cleaning behind them and cleaning the backsplash and, you know, cleaning everything. So now it's all squeaky clean. Really happy with it. I'm getting to finish cleaning the island though. I cleaned it off. So it's clean. I just need to um, wipe it down because it's a little harder to reach. My back was hurting by the time I was done with um, the rest of the kitchen counters. Not that I have a big kitchen at, at all. My back just hurts doing things. Hope the weather is better where you are. I'm really ready for, you know, nice weather, like consistent nice weather. I feel like we keep getting teased with nice weather, nice weather, and then we get this. So it's supposed to be like in the low 70s again next week which will be lovely, but then I feel like, does that just mean another storm is around the corner? Because, um, I kind of don't want to see breaking news. How do I see the weather? Okay, right now it's like 53 degrees. It's really cold. And
And it's cold for us anyway. Now for the rest of the country, it's not cold. It wouldn't be cold where I'm from either. Just when you live somewhere long enough, it becomes cold. Although I am wearing shorts today. I refuse to go back to my winter clothing. It is spring. And I, I'm just not going back. So I'm sitting in a chair. I'm not right now because I'm I'm at my house and my house is very climate controlled. Um, but if I'm at my parents' house, I have a blanket on. My house is newer and it has insulation and um, it's just it's really climate controlled. It's fine. good for me to start some extra projects and not just stick with one project. Maybe we'll work on my temperature blanket sometime. I don't know if that would be fun or not. No, because I have to be able to use my phone. I guess I could write down the temperatures from my phone beforehand on a piece of paper or like on my computer and um, and then we could work on it because my the temperatures that I recorded are on my a notepad on my phone but I could write those down somewhere else before we started before we started recording I haven't worked on that temperature blanket since last July or since last year I got to July. It was probably last fall. I do need to finish that. One of those projects that I really don't want to have to finish, but I need to finish because it was a it's a meaningful project. I really just can't not finish it. It's really dark in here today. did with my temperature blanket is I realized it was going to be incredibly thin and incredibly long like narrow like this it was gonna look like a scarf when I was done with it so instead of making it like a scarf I ended it um, in 
June, halfway through the year. Um, and then started the next blanket, which is July. And then I'm gonna sew them together, or crochet them together back to back, and then give them a border. Um, so it'll be, they won't be folded, they, this will be two separate pieces, but they'll be back to back like this. And then I'll, can, I'll connect them, I'll sew them together, and then give them a border. That's what I ended up doing. <clears throat> Otherwise, I was just going to have a long scarf of a blanket. I don't know why I didn't think of that when I started the blanket. Temperature blankets are just tricky things, and I'll probably never do one again. It really wasn't as fun as I thought it was going to be. I, I was all into it, all in in the beginning, and... And then I just, oh, I lost motivation. Having to change color, you know, almost every row. Was just, that's a lot of ends. And I'm not even weaving them in, I'm crocheting over them which I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but I've committed and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so, take a drink. So, I don't, I don't know. That just would have been so many ends to weave in. Looks like that's the potential of 365 ends to weave in and I just, Oh, uh, I couldn't do it. So I just decided to start crocheting over the ends. Actually, that would have been twice as many of that ends, right? Because you have the beginning of the row and the end of the row for each one. Anyway, but <clears throat> Last year was a really cold year, so it wasn't a very colorful year. So it just, I don't know, it, it wasn't a good year for a temperature blanket. I'm still working on my granny square blanket. I'm almost done crocheting this, uh, or stitching this, this rose together, except I'm one square short. I'm so bummed. It means I have to go back and make another square. <laughs> Luckily I still have enough yarn, but I'm just, oh, I'm so over that blanket too. I get that way towards the end of the blanket. I just, I want it to be done. Like I've been working on that blanket since last year too. I love the thrill of a new blanket or a new project. New yarn, new colors. And then you get into it and it takes a long time and I just, I don't have the patience. I'm also very certain I have ADHD, and I, I think that's contributing to my problems. But, um... Not just with crochet, but like a lifelong problem. Okay, how are we on time? About 30 minutes. So we've done, we've done, we're probably about halfway through this game now. Maybe about way through the skin. It's getting pretty soft. So it's 
going to be kind of a short scarf, but you know, it'll do what it needs to do. Um, let's do a little more, I think, because we're only, we're only exactly at 30 minutes in. Let me take my sweatshirt off. Oh, we've got my hair. Okay, that's better. Just getting a little toasty over here. an order on my Etsy store. And that's always nicely surprising. I need to work on that today and get it out Monday. I'm not going out in the rain. I'm not going out. It doesn't need to go out until um, I don't know, Monday or Tuesday. So I'll, I'll probably get it out Monday. I haven't made stickers in a long time. It's something else that I've been kind of not bothering with. It just goes with the whole capacity thing. Like I don't have enough capacity to do everything. Like I wanted to take, I wanted to finish listing the stickers that I have because there's still more stickers that I've made the artwork for and I've made the stickers and I just haven't listed them. And I think I, I think I even have them photographed. I just need to um, list them. But I don't know, I just can't seem to make the time. It feels stupid to not have them listed though, because what's the point of having all this stuff, all this work done if you don't have them listed so people can buy them? And then I really wanted to take a break from making stickers, you know, making new stickers and work on artwork and make prints. But I haven't done that either. I've got the supplies that I need for that too. I already had them. things I'm gonna have to work out. Time management. That's something I struggle with.
it's really nice. I like this color. Not usually my where I what I'd gravitate towards, but I think I was just picking out random colors when I ordered this. Because there's definitely other colors that I would have gravitated towards. But um about to here to here. And we're I could I could go away this this gain, but we're um still probably about halfway. So it's not gonna be like a big wrappy scarf, you know, that you can wrap around a bunch of times. But you could probably tie it in a knot and knot in the front. Um, so we'll just leave it at that. I think that's probably good for today. Yeah. I think we got pretty far. So we were only like down to here before. So that's great. Um, we'll probably have some streams like this in between working on blankets, just so I have something else to do. Kind of, you know, to break up. I don't want to say the monotony of blankets, but you know, to bring it, give more interest to my life. <laughs> I just, I need, I need more. Um, I need different things going on. So. I think this is just a good spacer um, to slip in there. And it's really quick and easy. So, and it gets towards my goal of having a bunch of scarves ready by the end of the year. And it's like, it's already April and I had, this is my first scarf. So I need to work on that more and get through some of, um, get through some of my yarn and see if I need to buy more yarn. Um, see what I need. So thanks for joining me. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you again soon. Bye.